Well, Gunner, I mean, we're just a little over a week away from officially kicking off this season. How, how uh, much are you looking forward to next Friday? Yeah, you know, it's going to be an awesome time. Uh, you know, we think back, we've been working since January for next Friday. So, you know, we've been put a lot of uh, sweat, heart, and uh, just really all of our efforts into next Saturday. So we're super excited. We've heard a lot of good things about you in camp for some of the coaches and the receivers. I guess, how would you assess how you performed uh, fall camp? Yeah, no, I felt like I had a good camp. Um, you know, my main thing was just go out there and be consistent every day. Um, you know, in the spring, I ended with like a high 70 average completion rate, and I wanted to get above 80. So my goal was 80, and I got 81% um, with 75 or 77 targets, something like that. So that was just my goal going into camp, and I felt like I did a good job because I was able to get that 81% um, completion rate. You guys were implementing things in the spring, 15 practices then. You but close to 20 practices now, so over 30 practices. Mm -hmm. how, how good are you feeling about this offense and the way you guys are clicking? Yeah, I feel really good about us. I think we're going to get a lot of guys involved. Um, we're going to spread the ball around, and I just feel like we're going to keep defenses on their toes, and you know, no one's really going to be able to guess what we're going to be able to do. We're going to spread it out, run the ball really well, and be very physical. What's your assessment? I mean, I'm not going to ask you to say who's the best because you're not going to give me that answer. Mm -hmm. But what are your, your assessment on kind of how the quarterbacks have been playing right now? Yeah, we have a great quarterback room, you know, all the way to Josh Hoover, all the way up to Mack and Chandler. So, you know, I just feel like everyone just needs to trust that the coaches are going to put the best guy on the field next Friday. And, you know, whoever that is, the team feels really confident. If it's uh, Chandler or Max, um, even if it's Sam, you know, we, we're all very confident in all, all of our quarterbacks. So I think everyone just needs to trust the quarter, uh, trust the coaches. They're going to put the best guy on the field. How much talent do you think there is in, this, in the wide receiver room, including you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we have a very deep room, um, you know, um, very talented all the way around. Outside receiver room, inside receiver room, we have dudes everywhere. So I just feel like um, if we can all get on the field, we can truly make some plays and uh, make this year, um, you know, one of the best that TCU has had offensively. With you guys learning a new offense, there's also some learning on defense. And what are you seeing from those guys as an offensive player and, and kind of how they've improved since spring? For sure, yeah. So, you know, this new defense um, was complicated for them in the beginning, but I just feel like they're playing a lot faster. And when, when guys are playing faster, um, you know, that comes with more physicality. Guys are flying around. Um, basically, you know, all the holes that were there in the spring, they're all a little smaller. So it just made it harder for us to find little holes in the defense. But, you know, I feel like guys are finally getting comfortable and uh, they're just playing a lot faster. Who was your favorite DB to go up against? Or who, who pushed you the most there in mm -hmm. the offense? Uh, there are a couple. Probably Bud Clark, um, uh, Diarco, and uh, Nambi. What makes those guys so tough to go against? Uh, I'd say Bud and uh, Bud and, and all of them actually, Bud, Nandi, and Diark are all really long. So, you know, once you get in their range, they're going to put their, their hands on you, which is harder for a smaller guy. So for me, I had to work on, you know, trying to keep my distance um, and using my quickness to get around them um, because, you know, like I said, they're very lengthy and they all are pretty fast too. Got a lot of family looking forward to watching you play next week. Oh, yeah. They're, everyone's excited. My mom and dad will both be in Boulder. So, you know, I'm just super excited. Everyone's going to be watching from back home. Uh, you know, it's a blessing to be where I am today, to be in the position I am. So I'm very thankful to be where I am.